Hello, everyone. I'm Morgan, the principal engineer of Nivaton Technology. Today, I will show you how to make the LED blink through GPIO on Nivaton New Maker AUC980 IoT development board. There are three LEDs next to the power on setting switch on the New Maker AUC980 IoT board, which are controlled by different GPIOs. On the left, the LED3 is controlled by GPIO B8 pin. Today, I will show you how to control GPIO B8 to make LED blink. This is the LED blinking code. Before investigate the code, let me explain to you in the Linux kernel. Every GPIO pin has a number. Each GPIO group occupies 32 numbers. Numbers from 0 to 31 are assigned to the GPIO pole 8 group. Numbers from 32 to 63 are assigned to GPIO pole B group, and so on. The LED3 is controlled by GPIO B8 pin. The number of GPIO B8 in Linux is 40. Back to the code. We see the program executes commands through the system function the sysfs in Linux kernel to control GPIO. Line 23 says GPIO B8 to be controlled by sysfs. Line 24 says GPIO B8 as output. Next, in a while loop, through line 28 to let GPIO B8 output high, then line 30 says GPIO B8 output low. With one second delay between them, you can make the LED blinking. Edit the main.c, then save it, then compile it, enter on Linux GCC main.c o GPIO target to compile it. It generates an executable file, GPIO target. Copy the GPIO target to root file system directory. Then rebuild the Linux kernel. Use new writer, download the Linux kernel to new maker AUC980 IIoT board. After Linux kernel is boot, enter the slash GPIO toggle to execute the LED blank program. You can see the LED on new maker AUC980 IIoT board is blinking. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Welcome to subscribe to our channel. If you want to get more information, please contact us.